Bulls of the late 90s will always, of course, be remembered as one of the NBA's most iconic dynasties. But how would they fare if they played the Warriors of this day and age? Dennis Rodman was on that team. He offered this take. Scotty Pippen can guard anybody. He's six foot nine. Can guard anybody. Length to length. It's Kevin Durant. He'll have a hard time with Scotty Pippen. And uh, I don't know who will guard Michael Jordan on the Warriors. Literally, who? <laughs> I got no problem handling that guy, green guy. Draymond, keep getting your teeth straight, honey, and listen to your mama. Okay, you know, this is Dr. D. Ross calling right now, baby. You want some prescription? Come ask me. Huh. So, <laughs> I, I don't have a better response than that. We can have okay. a conversation about the Bulls of the 90s versus the Warriors of today. Those are always fun conversations. They lead nowhere, but they fill up time. Uh, but how about him taking shots like that at the current day, guys. So anytime you're comparing greatness, you're going to have people on both sides feeling like you're sliding one, and rightfully so. And in this case, it seems like I'm going to do that to the Golden State Warriors. How many championships have they won? Well, in this particular stretch, three. Okay. Bulls won three championships in a row. Right. Twice. Correct. Okay. So that's the answer to the question. Uh, this one, they're not necessarily Jordan, Mike, done. Well, Michael Jordan never made it to the finals and lost. Correct. Right? Yeah. And so I would think if you go and buy matchups, and people always try to do this, it's not necessarily who starts the game, it's who finishes the game. Mm -hmm. So let's not put Bogut in this. Let's not put Luke Longley in this. As somebody that played against those late 90s Bulls teams, yeah. their lineup was Dennis Rodman, who's won multiple rebounding titles yeah. and defensive player of the year. There's nobody on the Golden State Warriors that has won a rebounding title. Okay? Fair. You got Mike and Scotty, defensive player of the years, all NBA defense. Same with Dennis Rodman. So, Tony Kukoc was a stretch four. So, again, both great teams, but the answer is the Bulls. Yeah. I, look, I, I happen to think the Bulls would win in a very hard-fought series, but I also think it is worth pointing out that, and I covered those teams. I was around that. There is no one. We were talking earlier this morning about courting attention. Absolutely no one in history who has sought out attention the way Dennis Rodman <laughs> sought, seeks out attention. So the notion that he's calling out, you know, the, the, the um, Draymond Greens of the world does not surprise me one bit. Here's what's hard about that comparison. And I hear guys talk about this all the time. And, and Jay, who I respect, who played in the league during the time when you played with hand checking, when you played with guys clotheslining you going to the basket. But here's the thing, Jay, and this is what I ask people when I'm having these basketball conversations, and this one thing that I know to be true about basketball since the beginning of the time. Shooting is the great equalizer. And when you look at Golden State, and when you think about the way they play, right, this new, because when they were playing, we were talking about this, oh, this is the new way to play basketball. By the way, Michael Jordan is the GOAT. I didn't even mention, you notice I didn't even mention him. <laughs> yeah. He's the GOAT. Well, Rodman got his way to that. Let me put okay. this into the conversation. Okay. Rodman did work his way to what you just said about Jordan and what you just said about the era in which they played and okay. said this. If Michael played in this era, he'll have his 50. He'll have his 50 points. LeBron's a great talent, no doubt. He's probably one of the top three players ever played with Kobe, uh, Magic, uh, Kareem. But uh, Michael's right there. I don't know why you guys discuss the GOAT. Why are you just He's saying if Michael Jordan played today, he, he said 50. Let me ask you, how many points a game would Michael Jordan average if he played in this league, this style, the way they play now? Ten more than his highest year. So I think his highest year is like 35, 36. I think he's averaged 37 one year. Hembo will get us that. I, ten, I think he averaged 37 Ten more one than year. that, based on what you just said. Yeah. The game isn't as physical, Okay. Then he's not that far from right. He'd be close to 50. That, I think he averaged 37 <laughs> right here. 10 more points based on free throws and, and, and the ability to, to not only be dominant mid-range, but also he'd be a knockdown three shooter. So 47. MJ would get 50, and he would be one of those guys in this era that would be competing on that level. But, but look, there, there is a... There is always an underlying thing about when we have this conversation. When we talk about Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan is a great player in any NBA era. Correct. Yeah. That's what we don't give to these guys today. I don't give a damn who you are. <laughs> you ain't stopping 6'11 Kevin Durant from getting his shot. I don't care if you Scottie Pippen. I don't care if you... We saw Dirk Nowitzki 
score point after point after point, and didn't have an athletic bone in his body because he was seven foot. Kevin Durant could score on anybody. LeBron James could play in any era in the NBA. So I get it. Like, don't have the GOAT discussion, all of that. But Michael Jordan would do what a lot of these guys are doing now. I think we just com com convolute the errors. I would take the Bulls in seven, and I would sure love to see it. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.